me on a local journey to going to an all-inclusive resort. Yes, an all-inclusive resort here in my own backyard. This one here is called Club Med Charlevoix, which is a known brand of places that has all you can eat and all you can drink and some activities thrown here and there. But I'm very skeptical about this place to be very honest. So let's go on this journey together and see if this place is actually good because let's just be very honest here, it is quite bougie. And yeah, you know what? We got there and the entrance I have to say is, is way more classy than I expected. Here I am with pajama pants and a sweater. Look at the chandeliers and them, all these art things. <laughs> I have to say, I am not a bougie kind of person, but I, I did admire it. So I am in the elevator. This looks so bougie. I did not expect that. So apparently to get to the fourth floor, I have to go to the fifth floor and then it mountain molds. <laughs> Let's go see the room. So this is the restaurant and then a boutique. Oh goodness, a boutique. Oh my God, so bougie. Oh my God, look at this wines. Okay, where is, is the fourth floor down here? Oh my god, I'm gonna be lost. Oh my god. But that view. Oh goodness, that is far. Hello there, bunny. Okay, so this should open. So this, there we go. Two, oh, two bedrooms. Okay. All right, so I'm guessing this is for like families. So we have two beds, <laughs> one facing the outside. What's the view here? Not bad, not bad. Oh, this is a desk. No, that's a TV. <laughs> Don't let me touch your things. This is pretty tight in here. Second bed. We have, I guess, some closet space. Let's see, what are you? Okay, a safe. Closet space. Bathroom. Let's see the bathroom later. We have our bedroom. Let me zoom out a bit. There we go. We have the bedroom. <laughs> that's a weird ass light nightstand. <laughs> we have the nightstand over here. TV, which I've learned. Ooh, coffee maker. A lot of places say don't use the coffee makers in the rooms because they're kind of um, gross, depending on what people do. My mind went straight into the gutter. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Is it me? Is it me? Am I the problem? Nightstand, decoration. Oh. I thought that was, is that a projector? That is not a projector. Oh, that's the bathroom. Oh no. I hope we don't see people on the other side. We have a balcony, no way. <gasps> a balcony. That's exciting. Why am I excited about a balcony? But that looks good. Look at that. We have some trees and rocks view. The mountain is definitely way nicer, as you saw when I was passing it. Way prettier. Oh my God. Is that a mosquito? Get out of here. This balcony is gonna be used if there aren't mosquitoes. Hopefully it's cold and <laughs> it's protected from the weather. So that'll be nice during storms. Let's see what the bathroom looks like. Oh, yo. Ooh, bougie. And then, ooh, multi-floor. All right, so let's, let's see what we get. We have ginseng clarifying soap, okay. This is a nice bottle. What are you? Body lotion. Okay. More body lotion. Okay. Body wash gel douche. <laughs> we have shampoo. Oh, that's weird. How come this stuff is up here? Conditioner. Why is this stuff not in the... Not in the thing? What's in here? Oh, hair dryer. Yeah, why is it not... Nothing's in here. Oh, it's not seats. These are shelves. <laughs> hey, Pat, can you see me on the other side? If I'm showering? Might say so. <laughs> Let me know. Let me pretend I'm showering. Oh, I can see you. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, naughty, naughty. <laughs> so Pat and I, we were like, what's through this door? Because clearly we weren't our brains aren't functional at this time, but guess what? It's the toilet. It's the bath. Why didn't I notice that there wasn't a toilet in there? Because we're so used to having one. Yeah, I guess it's just one of those things you don't look for. Mm -hmm. Does it have a bidet? Is it a magic one? No, it's not the Japanese ones. Oh well. Some things you can get, some things you can't. This place is so bougie that their handles are made of fake leather. Look at that. Oh, the mini fridge. Do they have anything in here? 
No, we can take some of our snacks and bring them here. What's over there, though? Is it another really? closet? Yeah. Just closet? Storage, please. Storage? More okay. Storage. More closet stuff. And yeah, interestingly enough, the snack bar did have different things like cheese in tortillas, and they had different kinds of salamis and olive and all of that jazz. So yeah, it was interesting. It was a cute snack, but definitely not something I would get full on on purpose. Again, different kinds of cheese and cuts and whatnots. All right, so we have the whole outside to ourselves. We're true Canadians. Yeah. <laughs> We're true Canadians. And we, by the way, I didn't mention, it's all you can eat and all you can drink. And we don't usually drink, so you took orange juice with grenadine. I asked my person, because he kept staring at my sweater. So I'm like, do you watch Pokemon? He's like, yep, I watch Pokemon. I'm like, okay. Make me a Pokemon drink. <laughs> so this is what he did. He made a Pikachu drink. <laughs> now, I don't know. I don't know if this is much of Pikachu's. <laughs> I don't think these are his cheeks at this Which part point. of Pikachu is this? <laughs> Which part of Pikachu's? But not just that, but he put so much alcohol in there. And he's like, it's okay. If you don't like it, just chug it. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, well, not chug, but like throw it away. <laughs> so let's take a sip and see what that's like. <laughs> All right, so here's inappropriate Pikachu drink. That's actually really good. Mm. Do you want to sip? Sure. I love Just, it's actually really good. I thought it would be kind of like heavy. Mm. That's good. That's super good. Wow, he's an artist. Yeah. That is good. I want one of those. Right? Yeah. You're gonna, how are you going to ask him though? You're going to go and just say, give me another part. Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. All right, so here's our resto. Look at the view. Look at the view. <laughs> it's so bougie. Oh my God. And so the first course at this a la carte was salmon tartare. And we had a cheese and cold cut platter also on the side. <laughs> Why you look dead? <laughs> okay, let's do the tartare. Mm. And this next course really came in quite handy. We did get a pork stew and then Japanese inspired vegetables. Here you can see the steak and potatoes, which was absolutely phenomenal. It was really nice and garlicky. And then we had mussels and shrimp. I ate the shrimp. I'm not a fan of mussels. All right, it's 7 a.m. Jackie Log day two. <laughs> it's 7 a.m. too dang early, but I gotta do my physio on my back and they do have a swimming pool. I am hoping nobody's there. What's this elevator for? Let's take this elevator. I have no idea where this is going. Oh wait, hang on. Um, where is the pool? Where is the pool? I guess we're gonna have to ask someone. Let's go ask. Oh my god, it's all for me. Oh yes. Okay, how do I get in here? Oh my god, private. Wait a minute. <laughs> how do I get in? Is it through here? Welcome on Jackie's Adventures for the swimming pool. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gotta be in here. Okay, so we have to go through changing rooms, clearly. But, I mean, I'm already dressed. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. So I made it to the swimming pool. I have to say I was kind of disappointed because the swimming pool itself did not have any depth. It was only four foot. And for someone who's five foot, that's also a disaster. So for people who are tall, you can't really get deep in there, unfortunately. But the water was nice and warm. I'm so obnoxious. So we're headed to breakfast. Pat, how you feeling? I feel pretty good. Yeah, hungry? Yeah, super hungry, excited to try. Yeah, I heard the breakfast is good. So let's go look. Yeah. Oh, you want to narrate? <laughs> so this is the bread station. Oh, they look... They have petit chocolatine. Petit pain. Ooh, that one looks good. Croissants. Oh, wow, look at all these croissants. That's a lot of croissants. Hash browns. Oh. Okay, so yeah. Hash browns. I might be around here for one. Wait, there's something closed over there. Bacon. So I guess all of this is bacon. Sausage. Poultry sausage. Okay, so you can have your regular eggs. Quesadilla station. Oh, the sauces? I'm not a sweet person. <laughs> You're not a sweet person. Wow, sure. wow. Should have left you in the room. Wow. Oh, this omelette station. Oh, and I guess these are the ingredients you can yep. choose to make your omelette. Scramburu. We're looking for the salmon. No? Those are fruits. Other side? Oh, okay, let's go look. Cereal station here. Oh my god, corn. Don't give me corn. I'll eat corn any time of the day. Oh, what's this? Rice oh, rice pudding, you mean? Rice Interesting. Rice I'm gonna try one of these. Rice milk. 
just poured a bit of milk in there. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so here's the meats. We have ham, salami. I'm guessing, oh, these are probably kudong. Mm -hmm. That's my guess. Like ham. ham. We have pickles. Ooh. Four. Okay, here's the cheese. Where's the salmon? I was pretty sure they said they had salmon. Maybe they didn't put it out yet. Oh, this is my breakfast of choice. I didn't want eggs and they kind of overdid it. A little too much eggs. <laughs> How many eggs is that? I don't know. I just wanted it's one three egg. Or four eggs. That's at least. I can't eat all that. And let's see Pat's choice of breakfast. Very potato esque. Why are you moving so slow? <laughs> you okay? Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying this. It's good? Mm -hmm. All right, so we had breakfast and took a tiny walk. And now Pat is going for a bigger walk. I have my Switch because I want to play. But, 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 I figured it would be fun to get all Gen 1 Pokemon as drinks. Correction, I do not drink all Gen 1 Pokemon. What I meant is Gen 1 Pokemon starters plus Pikachu. So we're going to be getting Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander. Plus Pikachu, of course. We're going to try that. Every time I go to get a juice or a drink and they say, what do you want? I'm going to show them. So we're going to do Bulbasaur next. And we'll see what they come up with and if it's any good. I'm going to leave them the choice how to make it. Whether they want to make it a juice or a little bit more adulty. <laughs> I'm very cozy. It's so cozy in here. Oh my god. Now we're back and it is lunchtime. This is a sugar pie, cakes, little desserts. Still the same kinds of breads. This is the only gluten-free option they have for you, Pat. It's pretty much big ones. <laughs> <I know. laughs> I'll take it. Oh, there might be more. There might be more. Let's see. Black forest. That's it. Oh, hello. Appetizers. Caesar salad. That looks really good. A meat pie. And then here you have some meats. We have a tofu tataki. I guess it's just grilled. Hamburger. Oh, and the meats are over there. What's in here? Oh, cauliflower. And what's this one? Carrots or squash. Yeah. Oh, and they have vegetable broth soup. Oh, and croutons. There's a curry bar. I don't know what this is, but it's curry it's like something. Curry, uh, hmm. no, it's chicken? chicken? Oh, they have Italian sausage over there. Oh, so they give you the burger without anything. Yeah. And you yeah, basically one. fill it up. The buns the There's the grilled onions too. Oh, oh salad corner. Okay, well, maybe, maybe oh. Look at that. Yeah. And there's some fish being grilled right here. Not sure what that is yet, but I do not like fish. Oh, there's a pizza. I don't know. I don't know. But looking insane. I'm not a... Are you? I'll take a slice for you and let you know. What's under these ones now? Carrots. Mystery number two. Rice. Very nice. Good to know. Oh, what's that? Onions? Artichoke. Perhaps. We don't know yet. Oh, this is my weakness. So we have pasta. That looks good. And mushroom pastas. Okay, that looks good. And then over here... Oh, bolognese sauce! Oh my god. No, that's not bolognese. That's bolognese, I think. There you go. That's the bolognese. That's what I'm gonna have. And over here... Okay, here we have a bunch of different salads. Oh, look, we even have like the fish from the other day. I hope it's not from the other day though. <laughs> well, I think it has to be fresh, right? Is that mint? Yeah. I think you know me at this point. <laughs> I love mint. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. That looks really good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Sam, you're the best. <laughs> said it doesn't look inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, compared to yesterday's uh, Pikachu's balls. <laughs> it's not inappropriate. All right, so here it is. It looks like there's a lot of mint, so. It tastes like kiwi. Very strong compared to yesterday. <laughs> Wanna try it? Sure. It definitely matches my sweater. Mm -hmm. Ooh. It's stronger. Maybe it needs the mix. Let's do the mix. Actually, once mixed, it is really good. Very minty, and I prefer it much better mixed because the sweetness kind of goes at the bottom too. Yeah. 
my mask is making its way up. It's like, no drinking for you. <laughs> Now, in terms of indoor activities, they really didn't have much going on, but Pat ended up finding someone who really wanted to challenge him in ping pong, and Pat loves ping pong, so here he is just enjoying a couple of games. <laughs> and yes, you guessed it, we headed over for supper. It's basically a place where you go and wait for every single meal. The next meal is like, what are we gonna eat? And it's actually pretty exciting. Listen, it's one of those places that it's mostly centered on eating and food, which I guess is fine because it's a nice break when you have to ask, what are we eating? So you can see there's a myriad of different kinds of foods, and they look absolutely delicious. And not just that, but they actually taste the delicious too. So back in bed cozy. Honestly, it's basically hiking, swimming, eating, 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 ping ponging for a little bit, eating. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree, Pat? Mm -hmm. But and eating. Oh, and eating. I forgot to mention eating, didn't I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we actually have a couple of complaints. First of all, Pat booked a massage and went for the appointment. And what happened? The place is closed. Yeah, the place is closed. So they didn't even have massages, apparently. And then the next thing is, I wanted to play with my Switch, but apparently, apparently, they don't have Wi-Fi that you can connect your Switch to. I mean, every single room <laughs> has a kid's room. Come on, you have to have a way to connect a Switch online. How am I supposed to play my co-op games? Huh? How? I don't want your signups. Just make it easy so that when I want to veg in my room, I can play my gosh darn damn nerd and switch. Also discovered this room. Yeah, that's humidity. <laughs> so the idea is you go in here and then after you're all humid, you take a cold shower. <laughs> I'll do that tomorrow, not today. We need to get breakfast because I'm obnoxious with my feet because Pat's hungry. <laughs> and then we headed on for breakfast and then after breakfast, we headed to lunch. And then during lunch, the chefs actually just wanted to say hello. Everyone was so friendly and everyone just wanted to say hello. So that was really nice. The staff is just really cool. The food, really good. Oh my God. I have to say the menu is different every single day. So you're not getting the same foods every day, which is exciting. Cause I mean, look at all this stuff. You're just getting everything different every single day. And there are some staples like the pasta, the pizza, and I think the burger is there every day but otherwise everything else is pretty different and pretty fresh and i have to say these are really good meals i would probably give the majority of them either 4.5 on 5 or 5 on 5 flavors are on point all right so we are back with another pokemon drink my dude is not here so let's see what her interpretation is and in this case i asked her to give me charmander she saw fire so she went with heat <laughs> And I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with the way that she decided to do layering. She is definitely very pro. She just wasn't putting color together. She was giving me an entire experience. Look at that mix. Oh my God. And a cherry, of course, because you need a cherry on top. All right. So as you can see, when I showed her the, well, when I showed her Charmander, she was like, okay. So I don't think she knew or she knows what Pokemon is, but I'm like, just go with whatever you want. Color, theme. So this looks gorgeous. We have the reds orange kind of turning later on the top and a cherry <laughs> i saw her put tabasco i thought that was that was pretty cool so let's go ahead and get a taste oh that is good you want to try it sure that is you're gonna love it because you like berries mm. i don't think there's alcohol in there i don't think so no i think it's just the fruit juice there's a little tabasco in there so, yeah, it has a kick now. It has a nice little kick. In oh, the back of the truth. I think this is my favorite. I think, I think Charmander is my favorite so far. <laughs> and then when we headed for supper, it seemed like there was an event, like a movie type event, because they had all these different cupcakes and snacks and candied apples and macarons. And it almost felt Halloween slash movie night. And everything was really cool, but very sugary. It wasn't my kind of thing. I did try at least a marshmallow dipped in chocolate because you have to do that. But otherwise, I was definitely way more interested in these savory foods. Not for me when it comes to octopus, but yeah, everything else was spot on as it has been since the beginning oh and just to give you an idea the buffet area is huge here's an overview of what the entire thing looks like it's big there's a lot of different stations going on good morning i am salty because they do not respect or change their hours on any of their apps because it went from 7 a.m to 8 a.m and uh they don't write it anywhere they just they really don't their apps are wrong they put it in the european time i'm so angry right now I'm up at 7 for nothing. All right, so what I ended up doing... Oh, it's washing. <laughs> so what I ended up doing is I knocked at the door because I saw someone in there. I'm like, oh, the door is locked. And she's like, oh, I didn't know. So she didn't know the schedule either and ended up letting me in. So I thought that was pretty cool because she didn't know the schedule changed either. I'm like, go get wet fast, go get wet fast. So I went and got wet in the pool before she saw the schedule on the outside. I don't think they communicate very well. In all honesty, I think there's there's a lot of kids right now 
since Saturday. And um, yeah, I think they need to work on like family time area versus like non like child free area because there's just like kids coughing into the food so we're just trying to get there before children arrive there's just no some parents just don't have any control just don't let your kid cough in the food man even under normal circumstances that's gross so it is our last day well yeah it, it, we're, we're basically checking out honestly the lack of sitting down space unless you go outside i don't want to go outside i don't want to sit around people i want to stay inside the lack of space to sit down has made it so that my back actually hurts from laying down on their mattresses which are really uncomfortable and their pillows also very uncomfortable because they kind of separate in the middle hang on just bear with me i am <laughs> recording <laughs> with the finger so yeah the, sep the the pillows kind of separate when you lay down i don't know why all the fluff goes on the side pat had the same experience i'm gonna close the light but yeah the lack of space sitting down indoors Despite the fact that we have two rooms, as you can see, and no space to sit down, I do not like this. They said to put all the towels in the sink. <sighs> so, there we go. So I'm gonna go sit outside, do a thumbnail, and we'll see where this goes. So we are at checkout, and it's basically the last chance we can get to finish our starter Pokemon drinks. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask for Squirtle. That's that's the last one we're gonna do. I'm gonna ask them this time to make sure no alcohol is in there because I just took my meds. So let's let's go see what kind of Squirtle we get. I love Pokemon. Oh, I love Pokemon too. <laughs> Aha. It's the best thing that happened. I'm so happy. Thank you. I'm so happy. Thank you. Wait, wow. All right, so everyone like seriously everyone is like what drink is this what drink is this? i'm like it's squirtle they're like what's inside i'm like i don't know i have no idea what's inside and people were taking pictures and people were like can we taste and i'm like just make sure i don't have your saliva in there so they were kind of like picking the straw like this plugging it at the top and then drinking it this way so i have no idea what it tastes like but they said it was like pina colada-esque so i'm gonna go ahead and give it a try mmm Oh, that is fruity, orangey, mango-y, I want to say. Pat, you want to try? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, that's very nice. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. It reminds me a bit of popsicles. Right? Yeah. Right? You're right. It's really good. Mm. <laughs> Did you want your own Squirtle drink? <laughs> <laughs> I might go do that. <laughs> the guy was so happy. He said it's the best drink request he ever got. And since they do let us check out, but we can stay on the resort, I think up until 2 p.m., we decided to go ahead and have lunch before we headed out. And I have to say, food experience-wise, absolutely top-notch. Activity-wise, not so great because they really don't communicate their activities. And even the times they have on their own timetables are not respected. And I would definitely recommend for you to bring your own pillows. Other than that, we made the four-hour travel back home. And I have to say, I would definitely go again. I'll just definitely bring my own pillows this time.